Just when you thought Elon Musk couldn't get any more ambitious, he spent $90 million firing a convertible into the dark depths of outer space. That's no joke, people. Merely a couple years after launching the SpaceX Falcon rocket, its shuttle has officially come within striking distance of our neighboring red planet. But this isn't your average space shuttle. In typical quirky Elon Musk fashion, SpaceX launched an astronaut strapped into a bright red Tesla Roadster, and the dynamic duo has been sailing through the Milky Way ever since. So will this astronaut, known as Starman, ever actually land on Mars? And why is he flying around there solo in the first place? Strap yourselves in, and let's find out. Before we find out what it's like cruising with the top down in outer space, we've got to wind back the clock a couple years to see where this remarkable story of spaceflight first began. The date was February 6th, 2018, a day that, following a number of failed attempts of smaller rockets in prior years, would go down in the record books as one of the most important successful spaceflight missions in history. On this day in Port Canaveral, Elon Musk's intergalactic organization SpaceX launched this huge piece of interstellar equipment, the Falcon Heavy rocket. Oh, and it's huge. The so-called Falcon Heavy stands 230 feet tall, weighs over 3 million pounds, and holds the title of world's most powerful currently operational rocket. The aim was simple. On its maiden flight, Falcon Heavy, hopefully, would launch successfully and propel that famous cherry red Tesla Roadster and its fearless driver up and out of the stratosphere in the blink of an eye. Here's the catch, though. It's a little easier to be brave and fearless when you don't possess the ability to actually feel emotion. Starman, to many nerds' disappointment, is merely one seriously cool mannequin, dressed in a spacesuit and strapped into the driver's seat. The spectacular flaming launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket from Cape Canaveral's LC-39A pad was watched by close to half a million curious spectators, who packed Florida's nearby beaches for what promised to be a slim chance of catastrophic failure, but certainly a sight to behold. Even the SpaceX CEO himself went on the record pre-launch suggesting that Falcon Heavy would do one of two things. It would either shatter aerospace records or become a scintillating prosthetic show, the likes of which the world has never seen. In other words, it would either explode or it wouldn't. For Musk and SpaceX's sake, they had their fingers crossed for the latter, because this rocket was extraordinarily expensive. Typically, SpaceX's launches range from about $60 million for the likes of the Falcon 9, up to as much as $150 million for Falcon Heavy missions. Since the Tesla launch didn't carry much weight, just Starman and his set of snazzy wheels, the overall costs for the rocket and the launch were about $90 million. While this may seem astronomically expensive, in reality SpaceX is proudly reinventing the economical structure of space travel. Just look at NASA for the comparative example. NASA says that another moon rocket could cost as much as $1.6 billion per launch. Fortunately, the 2018 Falcon Heavy launch was an astounding success, providing a proof of concept for the rocket that was designed to carry humans into space beyond low Earth orbit, up to the moon, over to Mars, and crazily enough, over to large asteroids for mining. Since breaking out of the Earth's atmosphere, the shiny Tesla and its cool-as-a-cucumber driver have covered nearly 1.4 billion miles in space, far enough to drive the length of every single road on Earth more than 63 times over, and certainly surpassing its mileage warranty. As of January 1st, 2021, the Roadster has circled the Sun 1.9 times, zooming through the depths of space at over 69,000 miles per hour. And unless it's stopped by accidentally colliding with Earth or Venus sometime in the next million years, the realistic chances of which are 6% and 2.5% respectively, then it will continue to loop around the sun roughly every 557 Earth days. In late 2020, Starman made his first close approach to Mars, reaching within 0.05 astronomical units, or a touch under 5 million miles. It's fascinating, that's something nobody can deny. But there is one looming question, why? Genius billionaire Elon Musk is known for his outlandish acts, but this one seems totally strange. However, there's actually a genuine reason behind catapulting a car into space. Since this was the inaugural launch of the Falcon Heavy, there was serious risk at play, knowing full well that it might explode into smithereens. Instead of attaching a multi-billion dollar spacecraft and flinging live astronauts, Musk opted for what's known as a dummy payload. In other words, something of little value that was perfect for a test flight. A second benefit, of course, was the publicity for Elon Musk's other revolutionary company, Tesla. Ford or Toyota can brag about intergalactic travel at top speeds of 69,000 miles per hour, that's for sure. Still, there was a touch more creativity to the stunt than just a car and a driver. The message, don't panic, was stamped on the $100,000 Tesla Roadster's dashboard, and David Bowie was playing on the car speakers. 
Any guesses which song? Yep, none other than Space Oddity. Evidently, this launch has been a wild success, but overnight success is often the culmination of years of hard work and consecutive failures, and it was unfortunately no different for SpaceX. Back in 2015, the CRS-7 mission was launched. Just a year later, in 2016, a small Falcon 9 exploded in a miraculous fashion when attempting liftoff at Cape Canaveral, forcing the area to close for repairs for more than a year. Thankfully, the efforts paid off, and with Starman now floating around the solar system, commercial space travel becomes more of a reality with every passing Earth day. In fact, Axiom Space is selling tickets on a SpaceX capsule for a 10-day intergalactic vacation on an orbiting outpost, beating out the likes of Monte Carlo for the most expensive travel destinations on Earth. This trip will set you back, oh boy, $55 million. Anyone ready to cough that up? On top of that, the Falcon Heavy has already launched two more operational missions since Starman took flight. In April 2019, the rocket set a communication satellite called Airbsat 6 a into orbit, and two months later, successfully delivered two dozen payloads for a variety of customers. Before long, more payloads may very well be headed toward the Red Planet. And if all goes well, so will the Roadster. Except next time, Musk hopes that Starman will steer it even closer to the surface. Elon has commented on Starman's close encounter with Mars, noting that it was merely the first approach, far from the only, before the Tesla makes its way past Earth in 2047. It's estimated to pass by Mars on April 22nd, 2035, at a much closer distance of just 1.4 million miles. That is, of course, if the Tesla lasts that long. Both Starman and his beloved Roadster are already looking substantially weathered and weary after a few years dealing with the harsh elements of space. It's predicted that the strong solar radiation has likely already disintegrated most of the exposed organic materials. That means the cherry red paint, leather seats, and tires have downturned to space dust. And that doesn't take into account flying debris damaging the glass and aluminum frame either. Although, what they really look like we'll never know for sure. While Elon installed cameras on both the inside and outside of the car, Tesla's battery has surpassed its expected charge cycle of 12 hours and long since died. And there ain't too many intergalactic charging stations. Yet. If the battery, miraculously, somehow was still working to this day, get this, Starman would have listened to Space Oddity over 290,000 times. Talk about having a song stuck in your head. Since the incredible act of sending a car into outer space is culmination of Musk's two largest companies, SpaceX and Tesla, it truly is a work of art, at the hands of none other than our eccentric tech billionaire. We know that both of these world-famous companies are making enormous strides with their respective industries, and in the Starman case, an overlapping one. But what else have they been up to? And how can Elon afford to propel inanimate objects into outer space willy-nilly. Let's start with SpaceX. The multi-billion dollar company which launched in 2002 is rapidly growing, and its rounds of capital raises showcase that growth to a T. And in August of 2020, the company raised $1.9 billion at the valuation of $46 billion. Just four short months later, Musk is seeking further investments at the valuation of $92 billion, double that of what they previously were on the market for. But it seems as though investors are more than happy to climb aboard because SpaceX has continually notched up remarkable achievements. In 2008, with Falcon 1, they launched the first privately funded liquid propelled rocket into orbit. In 2009, with Dragon, they became the first private company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft. And just two years later, again with Dragon, became the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station. All these feats are working towards two concurrent ambitious goals, reduce the cost of space transportation and enable the colonization of Mars. With reusable rockets saving hundreds of millions of dollars, that goal is now within arm's reach. And that doesn't even include SpaceX's Starlink project, a world-first global satellite internet system. Tesla, on the other hand, with a market cap of close to $660 billion, might not be trying to set up life on Mars, but they are trying to keep Earth functioning for as long as possible by facilitating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Thanks to its remarkably lofty goals and its expansion into products like solar panels, Tesla is now worth as much as that of the nine largest car companies on the planet, despite selling a fraction of the cars that they all do. Since Elon Musk joined Tesla in 2004, off the back of a $6.3 million personal investment, the sky's been the limit. So, will it be the Tesla and SpaceX visionary who leads humans to Mars? Or will someone else beat him to it? SpaceX's audacious goal is to land the first humans on Mars by 2024, but they're not alone. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos maintains that the fastest way to get to Mars is by settling on the moon first, and his company, Blue Origin, plans to do so by 2024 as well. Same with NASA. There was also stiff competition from one small private Dutch organization called Mars One, but they met the harsh fate of bankruptcy in 2019. Who'll make it to the Red Planet first? We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, we may very well see more strange objects propelled into orbit. Cars, monkeys, Lego figurines, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, and even a Pizza Hut delivery have made it into space thus far. So, it's anyone's guess what will come next.
Thanks to his wild endeavors, Elon Musk has climbed up the ranks, now worth a staggering $147 billion, putting him within striking distance of Jeff Bezos. Thanks for tuning in and watching our video right here on The Richest. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a like as it really helps us out so much and helps us continue to make the content that you crave about the wealthy and the well-off. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe as we near the 14.7 million subscriber mark. Wow, we can't thank you guys enough for your support over the years. Happy New Year, and we will see you next time right here on The Richest.